Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Wayne McDonald. You're listening to Living an Abundant Life. I want to talk to you today about the dominion that's been given to you by God. In Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 through 28, the Bible declares, God created man in his image and his likeness and gave him dominion over the earth. You have dominion on the earth. I want you to say that out loud with me. I have dominion on the earth. It's not based on your feelings. At times you're going to feel like you don't have dominion. Sometimes you're going to feel like life is chaotic. Nevertheless, the scripture is true. The words that have been released from our Heavenly Father are true. We have dominion on the earth. God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and give them dominion over the earth. And then he said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. I've given you all this to enjoy. Walk in your dominion. Exercise your authority. I want to just drive home for a moment an illustration that will help you understand what it is to have authority. Let's take a woman that weighs 95 pounds and let's put her out in the middle of an interstate highway where there are Mack trucks, big 18 wheelers that weigh tons. And let's put a badge on that woman. Everything changes. 95 pound woman, a truck weighing tons, will stop when that 95 pound woman stands out in the middle of the interstate highway and puts her hand up and says, stop it, stop. That's authority. And now you have been given authority. You can exercise dominion here on this earth. But it doesn't happen immediately. And it doesn't happen without you making an effort. It's not automatic. You have to be intentional about it. You have to tell the things in your life that are out of order to come into order. That's how you exercise your dominion. That's how you exercise your authority on the earth. You have authority. You have dominion. God has given you authority and given you dominion. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for the way things appear right now in your life. Things can be absolutely chaotic. Don't live there. Don't settle there. Your best days are in front of you, not behind you. Your best days are right out front. But it takes you being intentional about it. It takes you exercising your authority and walking in the dominion that's been given to you. Now, practically speaking, how do you and I exercise our dominion, our God-given dominion, our God-given authority? How do we get out in front of that Mack truck and lift our hand and say, Stop! It's by what you do daily. It's your daily routine. That's how you bring into manifestation into this physical world what Jesus did for you when he went to the cross and was raised from the dead and has defeated the grave and sickness and disease and fear. How do we bring that in to this physical realm? By what you do daily. By starting your day, number one, by reading the Word of God. Putting Him first. Studying the Word. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Lord. Spending some time meditating in the Word of God. Spending some time building yourself up in the Scripture. Seeing yourself the way your Heavenly Father sees you. Not full of shame. Not filled with guilt. Not defeated. But victorious. 
full of authority, able to walk in dominion over all the power that the enemy tries to exercise over our lives. So number one, by what you do first thing in the morning, it sets the course for the rest of your day. And then number two, by how you're treating your body, by what you're putting in it, by the food that you're eating, by exercise. This is how you walk in the dominion that's been given to you. Get out there. Spend five, ten minutes. Start very slow. Walking, getting that heart rate up. Drinking lots of water. You know, about 20 some years ago, I brought into my daily routine the routine and the habit of drinking purified water. Now, if you see me at any point in the day, in the car, teaching, at the house, you're going to see me sipping all day long on this purified water. And I sip on at least two of these all day long. In the morning when I work out, I drink one down. And then I sip all day long. And a lot of times I'll squeeze a nice fresh lemon, half a lemon I'll squeeze and put in this. It helps to alkaline my body. And when your body is alkaline, it makes it hard for sickness and disease to live in an alkaline body. So this is something that causes me to bring in what Jesus has done for me in his death and resurrection, defeated sickness, defeated disease, this is the practical application of something I can do daily to tell sickness and disease, you're under my feet and you'll stay there for all the days of my life. Sipping on purified water. Now when you drink water from the tap, it's full of chlorine, so you need to run it through like a simple filtration system, a Brita filtration system you can pick up at Walmart for as cheap as $10, $15, where you just put the tap water right through there, and it will purify, it'll take out the chlorine. Make it a part of your daily routine. Walking, drinking lots of water. Stay away from the foods that cause inflammation. Let me just touch that for a moment, because so many people do not understand the foods that cause inflammation and it causes arthritis and listen to me and a lot of other things at the heart of sickness and disease the root of it at the heart of it is inflammation so you and I need to do things that will cut down on the amount of inflammation that would be caused and brought on in our bodies so number one, the things that cause inflammation, I'm just going to talk about a few of them. The first thing is fried foods. Now there are certain people that are affected by specific food differently, but when you're dealing with fried foods, it doesn't matter. This applies across the board. Man, woman, boy, girl, young, old, whatever. This applies across the board. If you want inflammation in your body, eat lots of fried food and make sure it's it's fried in corn oil make sure it's fried in soybean oil those oils are destructive to our cells and fried food will cause inflammation in the body another thing that causes inflammation in the body is refined sugar Oh my goodness, refined sugar causes inflammation in the body. You remember those days when you were young, through adolescence, your body was going through changes, your hormones were going crazy? And if you would eat sugar, chocolate, lots of soda, your face would break out for most people. I learned when I went through a course many, many years ago that fried food and sugar were inflammatory and would cause you to break out. It, that's just the exterior. What's going on inside is there's an internal breakout when you're taking in fried foods. 
lots of sugar. Now, I'm not saying you can't have it 100% of the time. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying you need to become aware and cut down on how much you are partaking of. So, if you want to walk in dominion, if you want to see what the resurrection has done actually come into your present life, the present day experience that you're having, if you want to bring it into the now, the victory of the resurrection, there are some things you and I have to do. Whatever you start your day with, the first 10-15 minutes of the day sets the course for the rest of your day. That's why for the last 26-27 years I've started my day in the Word of God. This morning was no different. When I got up, the first thing I did was read the Word of God and communed with my Heavenly Father. Then I went down and got on the treadmill and then I lifted weights. It took me about an hour this morning. Some days it's less, some days it's more. And I've been sipping on water all day had a really, real, really good breakfast. I'm mindful of this. Why? Because I need to have the amount of energy, the proper amount of energy to accomplish what's in my heart, the dreams, the visions, the plans and purposes of my Heavenly Father and actually enjoy the journey. So number two, you got to focus on getting some exercise in, drinking lots of water, push back the foods that are inflammatory, also cheese and dairy products, milk is inflammatory. A lot of people don't realize this. Now let me give you the solution here. One of the best foods that you can ingest that will bring down inflammation in your body is fresh caught salmon. Fresh caught salmon will cause the inflammation in your body to start to come right down in a very short time. I suggest doing it a few times a week. Purchase fresh salmon, not the farm raised, and don't deep fry it because if you deep fry it, it doesn't have the same effect. But put it in some olive oil or some coconut oil on the stove, saute that baby, maybe put a little broccoli in there. If you're going to use butter, just make sure that it's good butter and use a small amount of it. You don't have to drench it in there, but make sure that it is good stuff. Try to get organic when possible and grass. Make sure the cows are grass fed. It's a little bit more, but it's an investment. Please, for you, for the sake of your family, for the sake of the purpose and plan that your Heavenly Father has for you, be mindful of it and don't allow it to overwhelm you. Work on one area at a time. If you don't know where to start, start with drinking more water. Put some lemon in there to flavor if you don't like water and start to focus on this area. And then number three, for those of you who are married, you want to walk in the dominion, the authority of the resurrection. God said, I've given you dominion over the earth. Well, then you need to focus on your relationship with your husband and your wife. You can only go as high as the deepness and the roots go down with your spouse. You will only grow as high to the point of how deep your roots go down and how much you and your spouse are on the same page. If you can get on the same page with your spouse, you can accomplish great and mighty things. So, in my own life, I'm constantly listening to podcasts, broadcasts. I love listening to Jimmy and Karen Evans. Matter of fact, I was listening to him today, and I was just extremely blessed by the broadcast of Marriage Today. Um, I allow him to mentor me through his books and through his broadcasts. And I want to grow. I want to keep growing. I want to be a, a better husband. I want to be able to meet the needs of my wife. I want to understand how she works. So I constantly need to hear people that have been raised up by God to teach in this area so that it's constantly in my thinking and so that I can engage with it. And then number four, once those first three are in place, you time with the Lord, you're exercising, focus on getting the right nutrition, your relationship is good with your spouse, now you're able to pursue your career. You're able to, you're able to pursue those dreams, those visions that God has placed in you. You're able to go out into the marketplace and make money. You're able to go out in the marketplace and add value to people, giving of the gifts, the talents that God has placed in you. You're able to pour that 
that into the lives of other people and add value to them and lift them higher. See, that's what dominion is all about. Dominion has been so misunderstood. People have thought, you know, when you walk in dominion, that's you pushing other people down so you can get up the ladder, so to speak. So twisted, so not true, so not the heart of our Heavenly Father. He raises you up and He raises me up so that then we can lift others. And the higher He lifts you, it's so that you can lift more and more people. So now you're free to pursue the vocation that He has for you. It's something you're passionate about. It's something that you're talented, you're gifted in. And when you engage in it, it only, not only blesses you, but it blesses people around you. People are moved. They're touched. And then key number five to walking in dominion and living an abundant life is managing your money. Having a budget, number one. If you don't have a budget and if you don't have a tool, go over to da download everydollar.com, the free budgeting app. That's the one my wife and I use. And follow that app. Do a nice budget, a zero-based budget. What I mean by that is you're telling your money where to go. At the beginning of each month, you're telling every dollar where to go. Go over to everydollar.com. Download the app. Get on the same page with your spouse. It doesn't work until you get on the same page with your spouse and you both are going in the same direction. You're in agreement. Oh, it's powerful when you do that. So you get on a budget. You put an emergency fund of a minimum of $1,000 aside for emergencies only. Then you start, you start attacking, number three, all your consumer debt. And then number four, you go back to... Step number two, fully fund your emergency fund of three to six months of expenses of what, you're, what you would make your annual income. And then number five, if you have children, you would start putting money aside for their college. If you have no kids, then you would start immediately putting money aside 15% of your income into a good Roth IRA or to a Roth 401k, some type of savings account, some type of an investment account where you will be able to retire with dignity and with honor and be able to leave an inheritance to your children's children. And then part six, key number six to walking in the dominion that your father has destined for you to walk in is then taking every gift, every talent, every ability, multiplying what you have, pouring it back into your family, pouring it into your friends, pouring it into the marketplace. And then key number seven is simply rest. Make sure that you put rest on your schedule, your daily routine. This is a part of your daily schedule where you make sure you get the right amount of rest. Now some of the practical things you can do if you want to get a good rest, protect that specific time, 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock a.m. is when you sleep, and I sleep the deepest. That's our deep sleep. So I guard that time. How do I guard that time? Number one, I stop drinking water at a certain time of day, and I stop eating at a certain time of day, usually around 6 o'clock. I Most of the time, now I don't do this 100% of the time, but I would say 90% of the time, or possibly even 95% of the time, I will stop eating eating and drinking by around 6 to 6.30 in the evening and I'll allow myself to take a 12-hour fast. And what that actually does, that 12-hour fast creates what's called ketosis. And I don't have time to talk about this in another broadcast. I'm going to dedicate the entire broadcast to teaching you about the power of fasting for 12 hours a day every day. It causes your weight to stabilize. That's why I've never had an issue with weight because I've learned these principles. I've been operating in this for decades. I don't have a weight issue. And if you have a weight issue, I can help you get that weight off and keep it off if you'll do exactly what I tell you. This, these are the results that I have had because of the way I eat, because of the way I think. It works. Someone can only take you as high as they have went themselves. I operate in these zones. I can help you get well again. I can help you get the weight off, get rid of the belly fat, and then help you sustain that weight loss 
I'm going to be dealing with that in a whole nother broadcast. But I wanted to just take a few moments today and talk to you about the dominion that has been given to you and the things you can do practically by creating a daily routine that will help you seize this, this reality that Jesus rose from the dead for us and has defeated sickness, disease, fear. He's put it all under our feet. So your best days are in front of you and you have dominion. Now, if you haven't already, we, uh, we just produced, this is the next printing of Seven Keys to Living an Abundant Life. We sold all of the first printing and uh, this is also online. Um, you can go to Amazon.com. People are downloading it as an ebook. I was just speaking with someone last night. They said, where do I go to get a copy of that book, Seven Keys? So we redesigned the back of the cover and updated it. And it's just wonderful what God is doing, how we're receiving testimonies of lives being changed as they're reading, as they're downloading seven keys to living an abundant life. We just had an abundant life conference several weeks ago. Went really well. We're receiving good feedback from people. Lives are being touched and changed. But you can pick up a copy of this. If you go to voicetothenations.com, you can go to the online store there. You can pick up a copy. We'll send that right out to you. Or you can download it immediately by going to amazon.com. Put in seven keys to living an abundant life. Wayne McDonald, it'll come right up. You can download it. You can read it on your Kindle or whatever type of mobile device that you read from. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that this broadcast has been a blessing to you and it'll strengthen you. You can follow us on Facebook at Wayne McDonald or Voice to the Nations Worldwide Evangelism. We're over there on Instagram at Wayne McDonald Abundant Life. We're there on Twitter, Wayne McDonald and Abundant Life. LinkedIn, Wayne McDonald, Abundant Life. Wherever you are, we are. AbundantLifeSolutions.net. We are using all these platforms so that we can strengthen you, so that we can get this message out, so that we can help you, take you by the hand, and help you to rise to greatness and walk in the dominion that's been given to you by God. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to, if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share the video with somebody. Share it with someone that can transform and change their life forever. Until I see you next time, thanks so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.